Something gets started in the spirit. Starts running over and running out. And it just starts spreading out all over everybody. Those who don't want to be healed get ill. Those who don't understand salvation get saved. When the mind is in the right place, my God. And we understand that God. Yes, Make all things. Yes, oh, it takes something that looked like it was thrown away and makes it look brand new. Oh, all right. Oh, my God. My We're going to bring up. <laughs> We're going to bring up the, the speaker to introduce our keynote speaker. And am I going to follow first list or second list on this one? Because but we'll bring up Apostle Minor. That's what it says here. To introduce the speaker. Amen. And after she's finished introducing the speaker, I want you to stand to your feet and give honor where honor is due. As this great man of God comes before us to share the mind of God, the word of God for this hour and in this season. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, thank you, Jesus. Um, some may say, why did we choose the Apostle uh, Harris to speak on this occasion. And for those of you that know me, um, I try to keep it 100, and a lot of people don't like that, but I do. I don't, I don't play with it, i just be honest with you. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm here is because he brought me in. And I thank God, can you hear me clap? Sometimes we have a gift in our midst and we don't understand who it really is, or you know. So you you gotta let, allow the gift to make room for you and take you before great men. But this gentleman, uh, I met him in Fayetteville last year or so, and um, I can really call him my brother. I really can call him my brother. I can call his wife my sister. They are the realest group of people that I know and for the young the new pastors with us coming here to fellowship uh, with uh, Pastor Sproul and his wife Amanda Sproul as well as all of the leaders here that have been with KDFI for a while I know that calling him to minister he would minister from the depth of his soul and he is the man of God who is led by the word of God. Amen. And he don't compromise truth. Amen. But they are worshipers in their own right. And they have their own testimonies. So for me today is personal. Even though he's ministered at my church and he, we're family. It, it's, it's an un introduction to who he really is. To Katie Abide. Amen. And if it wasn't for him talking to me about coming aboard last year, I wouldn't have came. So I thank God for him. He is the senior pastor, amen, of Blessed Assurance in Christ, amen, ministries located in the heart of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Amen. A man of God, a man of truth, a man of, that I know won't release the word today in honesty and wholeness. And he's going to encourage you in the Lord. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Just welcome them. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Is that okay? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. If it was you, we are welcome you too. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus for who God is in his life. Amen. 
Hallelujah. At this time, we present the others and introduce, hallelujah, to all of you, Apostle Preston Harris. Amen. 